Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing three super easy and delicious snacks that are perfect for game day. Football season is here, and even though I am not a huge football fan, I love any excuse to make some really yummy snacks. So the first recipe that we're making is for smoked bacon wrapped Oreos, which I know sounds probably really weird, but they honestly are really, really good and they were so easy to make. So I am just starting by cutting six pieces of bacon lengthwise, and this is how we are going to wrap up the Oreos. just starting to wrap the Oreos at this point. So this recipe makes 12 Oreos. So six slices of bacon, 12 Oreos are needed. And I am just wrapping them in one direction. I would say if you wrapped them kind of in both directions so that the Oreo is completely covered with the bacon, it might help to keep the Oreo together a little bit better. So it might be something just to try if you do go ahead and make these. And then at this point, Tegan wanted to help, so she was so cute. She went ahead and set out all of the Oreos for me. So this would be such a fun thing to do with your kids as well. If you have a little bit older kids, they could probably wrap the Oreos in the bacon as well. And it could just be a fun family day of football and snacks. I'm starting to make the seasoning mixture that will go over top of the Oreos. So it's one tablespoon of packed brown sugar, a half a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and then you're going to put in just a pinch of red pepper flakes for some spice. Once the mixture is really well incorporated, you're just going to sprinkle it over the top of each of the Oreo bacon wraps. And then you're going to set this out on a smoker. So we have a Pit Boss smoker. If you have a Traeger, you can use that. You can also do these in the oven. It won't be as smoky of a flavor in the oven unless you use some sort of smoke tube in your oven, but I still think they would turn out pretty well. So in the smoker, you're gonna preheat it to 225 degrees, and then you're going to, it says to put it right on the grill grate, so that's what we did. I would recommend putting aluminum foil and maybe spraying it because these did stick a little bit and they also started falling apart. So halfway through the cook, we went ahead and put aluminum foil out and moved them to the aluminum foil and we thought that it stayed together a little bit better. These also were extremely smoky. It reminded me kind of like a s'mores, like very, very smoky, but very delicious. But we did think even though it says to smoke them for 90 minutes, maybe push that back to about 60 minutes and it would still be really delicious, but less smoky. Next, we're making Chex Mix style oyster crackers. So I have a quarter cup of vegetable or canola oil, quarter cup of Worcestershire, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, celery salt, and seasoned salt. You're just going to whisk all of that up until it's well combined and then add about nine ounces of oyster crackers 
and you're just gonna mix all of that up until the oyster crackers are all coated in the sauce. After that, you're going to put all of the oyster crackers into a preheated air fryer. You're going to put that on 325 degrees and cook those for 10 minutes. And then you're going to shake it every three to four minutes. So I went ahead and shook it every three minutes. And then at the end, I just let it sit for four minutes. And these turned out so well. This would be a really easy and quick snack to make to bring to someone's house if you're going for a game or just to have as a snack for your family. It was so delicious and so easy. Next, we are making individual loaded potato skin bites. So think of loaded potato skins that you would get at a restaurant, but these are just a little bit quicker and easier to make and it feeds a larger crowd than like a half a potato per person. So you're going to start by just slicing up about two to three potatoes. We went and used two potatoes here and you're just going to cut them into about half inch size slices. And I put it down on a well-oiled sheet pan with some aluminum foil. And then I'm adding olive oil to the top of all of the potatoes. And then I'm just gonna brush the olive oil on and sprinkle it with some salt. And then I'm gonna bake these in a 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. And once those 15 minutes are done, I took them out and flipped them and did the same thing on the other side. Went ahead and re-oiled them. I did not add any more salt to the top after I flipped them, but I did go ahead and bake them for another 15 minutes after that. Next, I'm adding the toppings. So you're going to add some shredded cheese to the top. And then it also says to add some bacon bits at this point because you're going to put it back in the oven for about five minutes to kind of get all of the cheese and bacon to melt. I used actual bacon and just cooked up a few slices that we had left over from the Oreo bites. So I did not put the bacon on the cheese to go back in the oven because it was already cooked but if you do have bacon bits like from the refrigerated section or something like that i would go ahead and add the cheese add the bacon bits and then put it back in the oven for another five minutes so that it all kind of melts together and then at this point you're just going to let them cool just a tiny bit and then you're gonna add whatever other toppings you want. We went ahead and added some green onions, and then some people added some sour cream at the very end as well. And these were such a hit, everyone loved them. I would highly recommend these. These were so easy, so delicious. Honestly, all of these game day snacks were so good and they were so easy. So let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to making. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are having a great start to the football season. If you like football, I hope your team's doing well. Again, thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.